Alright, this is going to be a quick video. Um, just explaining uh, the first shots with the XDS. I took it out um, about a week ago, a couple days after I got it back. Uh, fired it, fired really good for the majority of the time. Um, there was two shots in a row where I had uh, basically failures to fire. Uh, it was a light primer strike both times, uh, two in a row. Um, and then the rest of the magazine fired fine, so I put those two that had the light primer strikes back in and uh, cycled them through. They both fired fine uh, the second time around. So I don't know if it was just something that might have been in here causing the spring to be, you know, the firing pin to move a little slower than normal. Um, what the deal is, I'm not sure. But uh, other than that, the trigger pull seems maybe it may, might be a slightly stiffer than it was before. It's unloaded, of course. Um, so it's, you know, a little, little, might be a little different there, but it's been so long since I've had it last and shot it last that I have no idea. It might be exactly the same, but it's still not bad at all. Uh, I really, I really like the trigger on these, so it's very nice. Um, but uh, once again, after those two failure to fires, uh, all the rest of the shots fired just, just like normal. Um, I was shooting my own reloads. Uh, the primers are not seated, you know, any lower than they should be, um, especially on the ones that uh, that had that issue. So it doesn't seem like it was a reloading issue, but uh, probably a gun issue. So like I said, we'll see. I'm going to take it out again today. We'll see how it fires. I'll put another maybe 100 rounds through it and uh, see how it is. So... Um, one other thing I didn't mention in the last video, when I sent my gun in, I actually sent it in the styrofoam um, cutout that was in this section. Um, they forgot to send it back to me when they sent me my XDS after the recall. So I called them up uh, that very same night. Um, they said that they're very sorry about it and they sent me one out right away, um, not even two days later. I got the insert that's supposed to go in here, which is nice. Now I can actually use this gun case again without it flopping around in there. And uh, so that's back to normal. There you go. And then uh, they also, when they sent that, they actually sent the whole kit. So I actually have the other side too, plus the two foam inserts for the ends, like the XD portion up there. Uh, so it's kind of weird. Um, they didn't need to send me all that, but I'm sure there's logistic ways that uh, will prevent them from... Or that kind of made it easier for them to just send the whole thing um, than just send the portion I needed. Anyways, that's that. Um, Springfield, excellent customer service, getting me this, uh, you know, this styrofoam right away. Um, it was awesome. They handled it well. Uh, I got through pretty much right away when I called them. Um, which is kind of surprising because I'm sure there's still people calling about their pistols, but um, really happy with it. You know, they they send the extra extended mag. Um, that's awesome. Works great. So that's about it for that. I will try to get some range footage today. Um, with that said, there is a another another one here. This. I just picked up a couple days ago. This is the Beretta M9, as you can see here. This is the actual M9. It's not the, I know I've heard that these are, you know, the civilian M9, basically. You can't own a military M9 for whatever reason. I don't even know. Um, I think that's kind of stupid, because uh, there's really not much to it. It's not like it's fully automatic or anything. But, uh, look forward to shooting this today. That's going to be fun. Nice thing about this is the trigger. Um, just, you know, from dry firing it here and there every once in a while. Um, I have not fired this gun yet. But, uh, I've noticed that the trigger is pretty close to like a 1911. It's, it's got a long trigger pull, but when it's cocked, it has a very short one. And it's got some slack in it. But once you get there... Towards the end, it's a it's a very very short pull, and it's a pretty light, probably five pound maybe at the most um, trigger pull. So it's going to be a fun fun pistol to shoot. 
glad I got it. I got a heck of a deal on this too. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it was, but it it was amazing. At my uh, local gun shop here, it was, it was crazy. Um, but uh, awesome, awesome. I've really been eyeing up one of these for a long time. I finally got one. So look forward to some, uh, some hopefully I can get some footage uh, shooting this and the XDS and the USP and pretty much everything today. I'll probably take a bunch of them with, but uh, yeah, look forward to shooting uh, this pistol and uh, hopefully you guys look forward to more videos coming down the pipeline. Thanks.